Hey, we're here with uh, the two most common species of toad that live here in, in uh, southern Illinois. And uh, this little guy here is the American toad. And this little guy here that's the jumping one is the fowler's toad. Now these two, I mean these two don't look that much alike, but they can look almost exactly identical. I mean they're really difficult to tell apart sometimes, especially, you know, uh, if you don't know anything about toads, they look, you know, basically the same. Wart distribution, everything's almost identical on these two guys. But uh, there's a few ways you can tell the difference between them, and uh, well, one of them is the call. This guy has his almost their their call is exactly the same. It's exactly the same thing, except this guy's is real short, and this guy's is like 20 seconds long. He'll call for like 20 seconds at a time. He's got a real long call. But some of the main ways you can tell the two apart is first off coloration. I mean, this is an exaggerated version. That's why I picked this Fowler's toad. But you can see this guy's got all kinds of pretty stripes. And, all kinds of pretty stripes. He's like almost striped like a zebra, and he's like black and white almost. And then here, the American toad is just kind of solid colors. He's you know kind of that gray brown. They can be a little reddish sometimes, but uh, they're a lot less colorful than the Fowler's toad. The main, the, the biggest diagnostic trait to tell the two apart though, is if you look at the back. Calm down, calm down. The the hind leg. If you look at, you got their femur here. If you look at this part right here and look at the size of the warts that are on this part and compare them to the part that are on the femur the warts on the bottom part will be larger if it's an American toad. They'll be noticeably larger than the ones on the femur and then if you look at the Fowler's toad on his leg the warts are the same size on both, on both pieces of the leg and that's really a for sure way to tell them apart the Fowler's toad will always have warts that are the same size He's, you know pretty general distribution of warts. There's a few other ways you can tell them apart, like uh, if you look at the warts, they got these pigmented spots on their back, and if you look at the number of warts per pigmented spot, the Fowler's toad usually has uh, like three, four, and then the American toad usually has one or two per pigmented spot, but that's, you know, hard to tell sometimes. Calm down, and the Fowler's toad's going crazy, isn't he? But check this out, this little guy right here, the American toad, is a male and you can tell that if you pick him up just right here under his armpits he makes a little noise that's his release call only male toads and frogs have a voice there's a tick on me only male toads and frogs have voices like that they're the ones that call for the females and so when you pick him up like that I'm simulating another male like mounting him it's called amplexus when toads mate and I'm simulating you know, the way a male would mount a female. And so since he's a male, he's calling and letting me know, hey, hey, I'm a guy, I'm a guy, I'm not, I'm not a female. A little noise. <laughs> this guy does it a little bit. He's a male also, but his isn't nearly as vocal. He just more like just vibrates about it. And that varies from toe to toe. I mean, some toads are very vocal, like this guy's real vocal, and this guy's not really at all. He's just kind of just blowing air out of his nostrils almost as his release call. But, you know, we've picked up Fowler toads that are real vocal like this one, so that's not necessarily a good way to tell them apart. I just wanted to show you his funny little noises he makes. This guy's almost making the noise no matter what way I pick him up. Calm down. We, uh, we kept these two guys in captivity for a little bit and uh, just kind of watched them. And they're real funny when they eat. I was feeding them uh, these real tiny roaches. And, you know, they burrow, they use their back legs to burrow themselves down in the dirt. And then they, you know, just sit there real still. When something goes by, they whap their tongue out at it and pop it in their mouth. And then they use their eyes. They suck their eyes. Calm down, calm down. They use their eyes. They suck their eyes into their head. And their eyes actually push their food down their throat. They use their eyes to swallow. It's kind of cool. They're running. Calm down. Man, this Fowler's Toad. Oh, he's going crazy. He's crazy. He's jumping all over the place. The American Toad's a little easier to deal with. He's just going to sit there for us. <laughs> he's neat. The way you can tell toads from frogs, I figure, is, you know, that's kind of an important thing to talk about is toads will always have these big warts. These guys actually have these two real big warts, and those are actually filled with toxins. So, you know, if something tries to eat them, they release this, you know, kind of white milky stuff that tastes terrible. It's real bitter, and it'll actually make, like, dogs and stuff vomit. Another way is if you look at their hind leg, on their hind leg here, they've got this little, like, hard, like, keratinized spur. It's real black. Frogs won't have that. Only toads have that little spur. And they actually use that, you know, kind of as I was talking about, to dig themselves down in the dirt. They do it backwards. These guys are neat. American Toad and Fowler's Toad. 
we're going to turn them loose. Uh, we collected them here at Fultz, brought them back for you know a little observation, and now we're back here at Fultz, so we're just going to turn them back loose on the road, or well, off the road, so they don't get squashed, but we're going to turn them back loose where we found them.